Hey guys, so for today's video, I'll be doing or performing the following fitness test. So let's go! 50 meter sprint is part of the International Physical Fitness Test. The aim of this test is to determine acceleration and speed. The test involves running a single maximum sprint over 50 meters with the time recorded. Shuttle run is a test of agility in which the participant runs back and forth between two parallel lines as fast as possible, picking up blocks of wood for a total of 120 feet. This test measures agility and speed while running between two lines 10 meters apart to pick up small blocks. The 1000 meters is an uncommon middle distance running event in the track and field competitions. The 1000 yards, an imperial alternative, was sometimes also contested. This test measures aerobic fitness in the young or those of low fitness level. The standing long jump, also called the road jump, is a common and easy to administer test of explosive leg power. It is one of the fitness tests in the F NFL combined. The standing long jump is part of the power quadrathlon and jumps decathlon assessment. The purpose is to measure the explosive power of the legs. The seat and reach test is one of the linear flexibility tests which helps to measure the extensibility of the hamstring and lower back and probably the mostly used flexibility test. Line your feet up with the baseline making sure that the heels are touching and then you want them somewhere about 8 to 12 inches apart. Curl ups focus on the strengthening and endurance of the abdominal muscles. The abdominal muscles play an important role in the stability of the spine and trunk control. Curl ups are performed in the crook lying spine position by lifting the head, arms, and upper trunk from the floor. That's all for today, guys. Bye!